Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about your mini chat account and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you link your convert kit to your mini chat? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to link your convert kit to many chat anyways? Well, that's pretty easy. If you're building your list through many chat, you know, it's important to stay in touch with those customers via email. And when you link your convert kit with your many chat through an automation, all the contacts can go directly into your convert kit. Whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's handled here in your mini chat account. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I've already logged into my mini chat account and this is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, in order to link your convert kit, you need to click on this little gear icon here on the left menu. Once you do that, you're going to see a drop down menu here on the left and you just want to scroll down until you see integration, all right? Once you do that, you're going to see all of the different integrations that are available for your mini chat account. And in order to link your convert kit, just scroll down until you see the convert kit logo, all right? Once you're here, you can see in order to connect your convert kit, you're going to need what's called an API secret. So this is nothing that would be provided by ManyChat. You need to log into your convert kit for that. So let me jump on over to my convert kit. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my convert kit. This is the home screen. Now here on the home screen, if you want to get your API secret from convert kit in order to link it to ManyChat, you need to click on your profile name up here on the top, right? Once you click there, you'll see a drop down and click on settings. All right. Once you click on settings, you're going to see your login details. However, in order to get your API to connect to ManyChat, just scroll down on the left side here, and then you're going to see this button here called advanced. It looks kind of like a little, I guess, USB cord. All right. So once you do that, you're going to scroll down until you see the section called API. And then the second line here is the API secret. Okay. So for this to work, you need to click on the show button. All right. Once you click on show, you're going to see your API secret. And all you're going to do is click on these two little squares here to the right. All right. Now it's copied and just do command C or control C. Now that's all that we need from the convert kit. And let me jump back over to my mini chat. Okay. So here we are back on mini chat. So now that we have our API secret, not API, it has to be the API secret. You're going to go ahead and paste that in. Okay. So once you've pasted it in, go ahead and click on connect convert kit account. Okay. We're almost there. So now it is connected, but we need to map out the email field. So we're going to click right here, enter email field name, right? And we're going to click on email and now it's finalized. So now our convert kit is connected to our mini chat. Now, just so you know, for this to work, you have to set up an automation. I'm not going to go into those steps, but I'm going to briefly show you where you can find that. So once you've connected your convert kit in order for this to work, you need to click over here on the left menu and click on automations. It looks kind of like a little, I guess an atom. Okay. Here you want to go ahead and choose an automation. So we'll just choose this one, for example. Okay. And here we are in the mini chat automations. And in order to have the contact information from mini chat sent over to your convert kit, you want to click on this plus icon here on the top, right? Okay. Now you're going to add a step. So the step that you need is called actions. It looks like a little thunderbolt. Okay. Now that we've added in the action, the action that you're going to choose is over here on the left. So open this up and then you're going to see convert kit. And as you can see, this is how you can go ahead and set up that automation. If you need step-by-step -step details on how to set up the convert kit automation, go back and watch my other video that describes that in detail. So there you have it guys. If you're wondering how to connect your convert kit to your mini chat, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.